Last night, I left outdoor services by the synagogue, and the outdoor services at the adjacent synagogue were still going on. I began my shortcut through the soccer field. Three teens played soccer as I think Kendrick Lamar's Be Humble, a song with three, four, five, six, and seven letter words, lasted from speakers situated in the seating area. Suddenly, a teen ran from the game towards the seating area as another teen called to get his attention. The first teen simply responded, Rega shechakti shem batfilasham. Hold on, I forgot that they're in prayer over there. Rather than lowering the volume or shutting the music altogether, the teen put on a less explicit song. For him, lowering the volume or shutting the music was not an option. He had just as much a right to play music and to play soccer as the people nearby had to pray. Yet, he did something which shows respect for the prayer. His actions remind me of a story which Rav Tzvi Fried told in the Young Israel of Bedford Bay in Madison a number of years ago. In the story, when a rabbi entered a taxi cab, the non-religious driver put on a cap to show respect. My father tells me from time to time that we should not underestimate the significance of our actions. Actions we do, which may seem insignificant to us, may mean the world to the person receiving the actions. Similarly, we should not underestimate the actions of other people. Actions which other people do, which may seem insignificant to us, may mean the world to them. Got it.